Hello, what is up everybody? It's James Romero here at Switchwatch. Now, Smite is a game that I have been looking forward to for quite some time, and it's finally coming to the Switch on the 24th of January as a closed beta. But what do you need to know about this game? What is it all about? And how do you get to play it in the closed beta coming up now? Smite is a MOBA which is short for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. Think League of Legends or Arena of Valor. It's a little less known than those big hitters, but it has a really solid player base and a couple of unique points that make it stand out. The first thing that really sets Smite apart is its third person over the shoulder viewpoint in favor of the normal top down view in other MOBAs. Some will naturally prefer this as it brings you closer to the action. The other thing that really sets it apart is its multiple game modes. Whilst there is the traditional three lane 5v5 map, which is called Conquest here, we also have Arena, which pits a team of five against five without any lanes and without towers. You have Siege mode, and there's a whole bunch of different modes that you can play that give you more variations than something like Arena of Valor. Now, Smite will be free to play. It follows the freemium model used in games like Paladins and Fortnite. There will also be a Founders Pack for $29.99 in the US or £23.69 in the UK, which will give you early access from the January the 24th. And this is how you get into the closed beta. It also includes the Ultimate God Pack, which basically gives you access to all of the current and future gods which are the playable characters in this game there are currently 90 of them so there's a whole bunch you also get some additional skins and gems which is in-game currency if you purchase before the 24th of january you get 600 if you purchase after you get 400 so they're trying to encourage you to get in there now like most big online games it's not really about the story it's all about the action but one of the things i love is the game's premise you get to play as gods you can play as the Loki, you can play as Thor, you can play as all sorts of gods from pantheons all around the world. These are really iconic characters. Smite's actually quite an old game. It was originally released officially in 2014 by High Res Studios. Yes, that's the guys behind Paladins, but it was playable as early as 2012. Now, as it's been out for so long and it's got a solid support base, it's actually got a lot of additional content. You know, there's been steady updates, many new playable characters, graphics improvements, and all sorts going on. It was originally released on PC, but it's now available on Mac, Xbox, PS4, and of course now switch now that brings me on to the next point as of 6.1 which is a release on other platforms earlier this month when the switch version releases crossplay will be enabled from the beginning crossplay will be between the switch xbox one and pc and as other games ps4 is sadly not enabling crossplay but you will be able to turn crossplay off if you want to if you just want to mess around with your friends on switch though of course having more players means a much quicker time to get in to a battle not only that but cross progression will be available which means if you've already got the game on other platforms you will be able to pick up and carry on with all of the unlocks and purchases that you've made elsewhere and vice versa Whilst in Smite, you do have the normal minion structure. These are weaker mobs that help battle against others in lanes. It does feel a lot more like an action RPG because of the camera angle. And it does mean that the dynamic is very different. So if you're not a big fan of mob style games, you might find yourself enjoying this one. It's a pretty unique experience. Like any good online game, you have different characters that are best suited to different functions. One of the things that can be quite daunting for a new player is the in-game leveling up and item building system. One of the great things here is that you can actually determine this earlier in advance and pre-build so that as you level in the battle, it will develop this for you. Also, you can turn on auto skill level ups and auto item purchasing. And I do recommend that the new players if it's your first time jumping in that you do this and don't worry too much about these mechanics it's also a good idea to start with one or two different characters getting used to those ideally in different roles and then branching out and finding your favorite characters as you get further each character has their own unique set of skills but they do look fairly familiar in terms of the roles that they fulfill but it's nothing like smashing down with thor's hammer at 
feeling is pretty awesome. That's it from us today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I am super pumped, if you can't tell, for this release. But are you as well, or am I alone out there? Let me know down below. Now, if it's your first time here and you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing. We do produce content like this regularly, along with reviews and other stuff from time to time. Now, if you're looking for a mobile to test out the genre and see if it's for you, then Arena of Valor is the other option on the Nintendo Switch right now. Now, I will caution you that the game is quite different but the core mechanics are the same Jordan reviewed that one and I'd recommend having a look at it it's free to play as well so I'll see you again on the next one take care everyone